In the year 1997, the future is in chaos and turmoil. Mankind is on the brink of extinction. Brave survivors band together and build a time displacement apparatus to receive a signal from a parallel future. This transmission is the Boondicott. podcast of our show, The Vundacast. I am your host, Steven. With me today, my tag team co-podcast partner, D-Rock. And right now entering the ring are... That's the sound of me entering a WrestleMania. The Miz... The Miz and uh, John Morrison are apparently a tag team. Me and Derek haven't watched wrestling from the WWE in a little bit, and I was excited to watch, well, I mean on air, a, and I was excited, did we? Yeah. No, we didn't post an episode. Oh, came over, but... We didn't post an episode about it. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, so I wanted to see the Elimination Chamber of the tag teams, because I saw some pretty gnarly bumps. Of people falling down on things on the internet, on the Twitter. And so we're going to kick this podcast train into reaction mode yet again. I'm just uh, I'm coming into this like not knowing anything about what's going on. It's been a very long time. He's never seen John Morrison in the WWE in 2020. They, um, they have never seen you. Me. You, they. Me is they. They is him. Not him. They. So, yeah. I'm this is this, kind like, of strangely homoerotic now. The tag team division. It's a little BDSM. Because they're locked it together. Is. I mean, all of this is a little BDSM. Yeah, but at but least like, in the original the, pod, you're locked alone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in this pod, you're locked in with your friend. Is Whoa. Rude with uh, with Chad Gable still or is this that... intro is not over anymore. No one cares in the audience. Yeah, no one cares about this anymore. It's so funny. I'm still into it because I'm not watching every week. Right, exactly. We'll but no one's like I'll singing it or anything. Like, no one cares. glorious. They He's care so cool. little about Robert Roode that it bleeds down into them not caring about who. Dolph Ziggler. Still okay. With his same his new thing is I'm too loud. What? Did it say I'm too loud on the time drum? I'm too it's good. Too bad. I'm too good. That's what that says. He's had that for a while too. Why does he have like a seal of the president on his jacket or whatever? I think that that was his seal when he was like the B team or whatever with with uh, Drew McIntyre. That I've missed so much. Drew McIntyre and him were like I, mean, the I sort of was aware of that as a team. But, yeah. And now he's with Rude. I guess so. What does it say? I want to know what the seal says. Now. There's words. I'm sure you can look it up on the internet. Yeah, I could probably do that. <laughs> Ziggler taunts everybody. Yeah. Why are you talking about reality shows right now? And about The Miz, who's locked in a cage, when Dolph and Bobby are coming in. I'm sorry, Michael Cole's on this podcast. We couldn't talk about it. I'm sorry, yeah, like, it's... Um... I wish I wish it had been even longer between times that I've heard 
Michael Cole's feet. Uh, so it's been as long as it's been in a while at this point. It'll be crazy if they made like Vince was like, I'm gonna make every match an elimination chamber match because of the coronavirus. <laughs> People need to be kept away from each other. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So this is Lucha House Party. Whoa, that's a shiny guy. Let's see Dorada and Turn it down. Turn it down. Yeah, turn down Michael. Turn down Michael. Ooh, his mask is like textured. Looks like real fur. I still have it. Oh, Grand Metallica. <laughs> Grand Metallica. No, Grand Metallica. Medley? Medley. Metallic. Metallic, yeah. <laughs> this is a lick metal. His mouth is covered. Okay. Lucha! 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 Oh, the crowd loves it. How many different Hispanic wrestlers have done that Lucha, Lucha thing in WWE? <laughs> That's why it's so over. It's like a nostalgic. Classics never die. Whoa. Never go out of style. He's got like fangs on his butt. His fa- oh yeah, he does. He's like an Aztec mask or something like that. Whoa, heavy machinery. People love heavy machinery. Why do people like them? Because they're... They're funny? Entertaining. Because they're, they're funny? They're a good tag team. They're good, like, bruiser, you know. But they just kind of play like a bunch of fat, dumb guys. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're a good tag team, too. Have you seen them wrestle? Good. No, I've never seen them wrestle before. Oh, really? Oh, no, this is yeah. my first time watching Otis and the other guy. Yeah, they're good. They'll, they, I, can, I can see them doing well in this. All these multiple people. Well, they get to be the big people. Right. They have a role. They'll do some really cool power spots at the like multiple people or something like that. Why do they look like a biker club? Yeah, I don't know what the sleeveless. Uh, I don't know why WWE thinks like the height of cool is sleeveless jean jacket. Kids hate <laughs> sleeves. <laughs> Don't you understand? Everywhere in your life you have sleeves. Here I guess we that's don't pretty, sleeves. like, when I was, like, ten years old, I would have thought that was, like, super cool. Yeah, these guys are badass. Oh, they don't even fit. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> he needs, so they need to buy him a bigger shirt, I think. I love it. No, man. It's a belly you gotta shirt. emphasize it. Emphasize Whoa. the belly and the titties. Love it. I wonder if they have oh, a fire man. hazard in place, like a fire precaution. A what? Like, what happens if there's a someone pulls a fire alarm while these people are locked in the chamber? Where's their oh, nearest exit? <laughs> Where is it? Um, I imagine it's you know behind the fighting tron. There's lots of exits. Yeah, Big E. Poor Kofi. Back to obscurity. Back to tagging. Our former world heavyweight champion. champion. Yeah. You don't want to get eaten by Goldberg. This is kind of a better fate. Look, he changed up his hairstyle. I think that's where I, like, really decided, like, yeah, I'm not not bothering with this shit anymore. Was when Brock Lesnar beat Kofi Kingston in, like, nine seconds for the title. Like, he could beat him. Just make it a good yeah, match. Yeah, just, like, they could do a good match. Why not just... Give us a good match. Make Kofi look like... A champion. He matters at all. <laughs> what does this gear mean? It's like a coloring in. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's 
it's like, yeah, it's, it's like a color by numbers outfit. It's cool. I like it. Where you would color uh, in. It is kind of weird that the guys. I mean, it's. I mean, it's clearly intentional. Oh yeah, that is kind of like color by numbers. That's literally what it is. Yeah. Oh shit. I mean, yeah. You, you called it. Because Xavier's gone, they lost their color. Oh. Uh, Okay, so this is clearly going to be dope as fuck, because... The Usos are here? Well, because New Day and Usos are in this match, so, like, there's going to be some some good shit here. Now I'm excited. You know that it was, uh, apparently the legend, when the one time that, uh, Nick and Matt, the Young Bucks auditioned for WWE... Uh-huh. Their match, their audition match was with the Usos. Oh man. So it was the Uso brothers versus the Jackson brothers. When was this? This was uh, when they left. Like what year? 2014, I think. Okay. When they were leaving, uh, they were leaving New Japan, whenever that was. Yeah, I think it was 2015, okay. end of 2015. So that, that. And they, were, they had just got. That sounds like a dope ass match. They were about to be signed to Ring of Honor. But they got called in for an audition, and they said that they never expected to ever sign, but they had to obviously take the opportunity and see right. what they would be offered, hypothetically. Right. And that they had a match, and all the wrestlers were watching. Everybody cleared the whole locker room to watch. Yeah, I bet. And they went, like, 30 minutes with the Uso brothers, wow. and just went nuts. Wow. And did all their spots oh with the Usos God. and went nuts with the Usos. And they said that the Usos were fantastic oh my God. to work yeah, with and they yeah. loved it. And that everyone seemed to like the match a lot, but WWE passed. That's, wow. That's weird to me that they would pass on the Young Bucks in 20 Because the Young Bucks would pass on them. I think the Young Bucks yeah. would pass. Because the, the WWE would take all of their t-shirt money. We'll take all of their merchandising money. Usos are starting. This is great. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I wish there was... I just wish there was footage of that match. I would give anything. I'm sure there is somewhere. But they don't have... They probably can't legally show it. No? Oh, yeah. I'm sure there's footage to show Vince. And then eventually they... Well, they showed... They show, like, Kenny Omega's one match in WWE. Yeah. So. I think we watched it. Yeah, we watched it. Was that, was we that watched was it. FCW. It was in OVW, I think. OVW, that's right. Whoa. I like this pairing. Yeah. No, it's... He's starting the match. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Drop kick. Starting the match with these two is smart. Oh, they have X W. He has X W written on his uh, arm. Both, both as a nod to their history together, but also just because like these guys probably have the most stamina of any two teams. Come on, Biggie. Yeah. Nice. Slow down. Oh, oh. Ooh. No, the match can't be over so soon. No, that wouldn't end the match. Ooh, that didn't look good. That would eliminate them. So, like, just like jumped into them. So that would eliminate both the entire tag team, right? Yeah, if you get you, you, if one member gets pinned or submitted, the, the both members leave. So they would just have to wait for the next team to be released. The other, the, so the thing that I always watch out for because of that in chamber in elimination chamber matches is is anyone in this match going to be dumb enough to break up a pin or submission? Because ah. it's like the stupidest thing you can do, right? Like, why would you let it go? Stop! Yeah. Like, yeah, let them take somebody else out of the match. <laughs> Yeah, they're coaching him. They're coaching them. <laughs> like, hit him in the back. Get him. Miz and Morrison are coaching through the glass. 
through the glass. Oh, snap. Oh, we no. kind of have to, like, call the match just so we're not sitting here like, wow, that's cool. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Darn. Well, or just, like, describe something when we, when we react to it. Oh, shit. And here, comes here come a new, a new opponent. Let's see who it's going to be. I hope it's I think I bet it's Bobby Miz Roode. And Morrison. It's going to be Bobby Roode. I think Miz and Morrison. I think or maybe Lucha House, but... I think... I'm betting Ziggler Roode. Watch it be Heavy Machinery, because that's the only one we haven't said. Oh, it's a house party. They want us some flips. Let's yeah, some they, flips. that's... It's kind of like in order of who has... Ooh, damn, that was ugly. Which one was that? Elite? Grand Metal Just, like, really fucked up that head scissor. And just, like, wrapped his legs around Biggie's body. <laughs> it was very... Uncomfortable to watch. Nothing like Lucha House Party bring to the environment. Grand Metal Lake going his kick of the ropes. So. Oh, kick to the head. And which now, is which is tough for them as performers too. Like when you like come out of the gate and botch something like that. Whoa. It can get in your head. That's and pretty cool. Looks like it's not getting in their heads, but no. more power to them because. Like, Mick Foley always used to talk about how he, like, was always, like, nervous. Whoa, nice. Oh, shit, look at that. Like, whirling on the ropes. Oh, oh flippity God. flip, nice. All right, here we go. Work Let's rate go. city for Lucha House Party right now. All the moonsaults. Oh, a double pin, I like that. Nice. What was I talking about? <laughs> you said Mick Foley. Oh, so. oh, Mick Foley always used to say had that he would, he was always nervous. He couldn't get into a match until he like took his first good shot with like a chair, or especially like a hardcore match. Feel the pain real bad. Like a chair, like a pan, frying pan or something. And then he'd be like in the zone after that. You know what would actually... So, they announced this year that WrestleMania is going to play before no live audience. At the WWE Performance Center. And the wrestlers will just wrestle for the first Ooh. time ever in a WrestleMania. And we can watch over live stream. Uh, on WWE Network. On WWE Network. 9 dollars a month. I think if you did it as a chamber, maybe you wouldn't even notice the audience is like totally missing. You know? Yeah. Because so, then it would feel even more constrained. I, I haven't really watched a lot of, like, audience-less wrestling. I think the only match I've ever seen that didn't have a crowd was the the Rock and Mankind Hello. empty arena match, yeah. the halftime heat. You remember yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Halftime of the Super Bowl. I watched that live, actually. And yeah, that's nice. a callback to Jer it's Jerry hard. Lawler did it once. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. empty arena match is, Memphis. like, a thing that's been, you know, like, the WWE didn't, like, invent that. Obviously. It was funk and... Oh, look. shit. Damn. He just slammed... What was that? He got... Uh, he he locked his foot no, in. He, he locked his foot in the cage. The cage and locked his foot in so quickly that he just, like... He didn't even oh. pause. He just like fell down. And now we're fighting on the, the pod. This is he what I'm talking about. He could have fucking like fucked up his ankle really bad doing mm -hmm. that. I don't know nice. how, how he pulled that off without like, tearing off his ankle. Yeah, like well tearing off his ankle. Oh. And now he's king of the hill on top of the pod. Oh, this is now I'm thinking about. Did you see last year's elimination chamber? Where no. well Daniel Bryan I'm crawled, thinking about this year. Daniel Bryan crawled up on top of the pod to get away from Kofi and then Kofi went up there and like stood in front of him oh. as he cowered. Oh shit. High spots. High spots. Oh nice. Nice. And they got this great shot of it like from behind. The bar is so cool. Damn, still no eliminations. You got another team coming in. Who you got? You still got Rude and uh, 
Uh, I think. I think Miz and Morrison. I'm still going Rude and Ziggler. You gotta Although, get. You gotta give these old people time to work. Come on, give them some screen time. Rude Ziggler. Oh, Miz oh, Morrison. Shit, Miz Morrison. The champions must defend Here their we crown. Go. I can't wait to see what John Morrison does in this. Now, do you think Miz and Morrison get the first elimination? Um. Since they're champions. I don't think so. Is that a threat? They seem like heel champions, so they probably just want to make them look weak and ineffectual. So. Who do you think will be the first team eliminated? The first team eliminated? Statistically. It's hard to say because yeah. the, the, the like initial eliminations in an elimination chamber match are all like story driven. Yeah. So there's not like, oh, this team is the least over. They're probably going to be... You can't do it like that. Mm. Like, I would say Lucha House Party based on that, but, you know, you, you maybe you need to keep them in the match to do their high spots. And keep the match interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I, I think don't know. I would say Rude and Ziggler, if I had to pick, would be the first eliminated. But they haven't been in the match yet, so now it's like, huh? You know? And I think, I feel like I remember something about Ziggler... Like having some history with Miz and Morrison and having some kind of thing going on. Between so from them. a story perspective, if you eliminated the champions first, would that it wouldn't be, I, feel I think, the most interesting? I think that would be... It, it would make them look kind of weak for, for starters. And then I think it actually takes some suspense out of the match. Okay. Because then you know there's going to be a new champion. You know there's going to be a title change. So that's one variable, even if it's like not the most interesting variable. It doesn't alter the match that much. But it does. You know? Oh, what did, did he pull something out well, of his he, foot? What, what was no, that? I think he just adjusted his pad. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it was just... But it just has, looked story He has those like, ankle pads, I think, for like kicking people. Gonna need these for that. Ooh. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, that was a uh -oh. He's having an just him again. Morrison. We're talking about Morrison right now. <laughs> no, his name is Ankle Pads. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood Ankle Pad. That's his name. <laughs> they, 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 they'll never give up on that angle of like the Ooh. heel announcer being like this is so unfair uh -oh. to the champions anytime they're in like a multiple person match they don't even have to lose to lose Ooh, except nice. they literally do in this match you have to lose to lose you have to lose to lose yeah kick a guy up that, what do you what sense. do you what do you think the odds are in this match that everyone will be in the match before there's an elimination? I think that's very likely. I think it's very likely. I think that's a gonna, lot of people. I think they're gonna fill up this whole damn. But it is a lot ring. of space. There's a lot of space to fill. But that's also like there's a lot of things that can go wrong with that much space. Yeah, but everyone's just much, laying down oh, anyway. Oh shit. You have you you have, you have ten people Metal laying down just already. Fucking came off of the top Come of the on, pod that should have been a closer. With a head scissors on Morrison from the top rope, that was sick. That should be a finisher. That was sick. That's so dope. I think. Well, see, because they had him break it up, so ostensibly or theoretically, it would have been. It would have finished him off. Yeah, this is awesome. You are correct. Oh. What did they say? Philadelphia crab? Maybe. That's pretty good to get a Philly, Philly crowd to chant, this is awesome. Maybe they were just chanting for the Miz to think he's awesome. This is awesome. Two. My chant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Is that their finisher? Are they gonna? No. 
No, they gotta keep them in this match. Can't do them like that. I need. He is a prolific right striker. Prolific striker. The best part about that superlative is that, like, that doesn't necessarily mean he's a good striker. That it hurts when you hit. It just when he means hits he's you. busy. It just means he does it a lot. <laughs> oh, the Miz taunting the New Day with their own chance. And now Biggie oh. turns tables. With the and is gonna kicks. get. Oh. The it kicks invented by the Miz himself. Oh. Oh, nice. Is that gonna be a. Oh, nice. Nothing will be a finisher. Another team coming in. There's only one more after this. Now I feel like it's going to be Heavy Machinery. Yeah, no. Heavy Machinery is definitely last. No, I think they're going to be next. Really? I'm changing my vote. No, I think Heavy I think Machinery is HM, definitely last. Here we go. Oh. oh Steven got it. Nailed it. Heavy Machinery. Yeah. If you didn't pop out Ziggler and Rude early, they're going to bring them out of that bubble. You know what this And they're going to get eliminated. You know what this might mean? What? They do this in Battle Royal, too. Where they, like, when the ring starts getting a little too crowded, they bring, they bring out in the a big, big guys guy to, clear out. to just eliminate, like, five different people to clear the ring. And then what will happen is Ziggler and Root are going to come out, and then they'll get immediately eliminated to show that the big guys <laughs> are in control. Nice. Um, yeah, see, it was cool. They do cool little, like, Stupid nice spots like this. Uh oh, here comes Dorado. Dorito. Oh, that's a terrible joke. I'm sorry. I apologize immediately for that. Also, now I want some Doritos. Tucker and Otis. Hey, Tucker! They, he's about to do a slam. I know he's waiting so long, but he did it. He's, he's strong. He's showing Big his strong power. boy. Gotta show his strength. Oh, oh, he's gonna do something cool now. I think. Oh, oh no! Biggie just Biggie just, just toppled him. him with a fucking lariat. People aren't reacting that much to that either. That's like, uh oh, that's not to be get crunched. Ooh. <laughs> that was a great sell. Very cartoonish. By I love Biggie. it. The oh, the, oh, this should be the twist now. Oh, is it the worm? Is that when Ziggler and Rude get pulled out, they don't want to come out now. See? They don't want to come out. No, no, no. Nah. No, no, no. no thanks. We'll stay in here. Oh, God. The caterpillar. Caterpillar. Because it's a construction. Machinery. Ingenious. Yeah. Uh, oh! Whoa! When did this happen? Dorado. It was Dorado. It was Dorado. You're right. Double plan. Oh, they're dogpiling now. He's just going to drop on it. John Morrison's been looking up there the entire time. He's like, come on, where's oh, the spot? Oh my god. That's pretty crazy. That's fucking insane. That's pretty crazy. That's like 20 feet. Yeah. Thank you, crowd. Heavy machinery, unfaced. <laughs> like, whoa, that was, that was crazy. They were in that pile. They just, like, didn't go down. They just didn't sell it. They were just like, meh. Why'd you guys go down? Oh, here, now, yeah. There we go. That's an elimination, obviously. Lucha House Party first. That's what I would have... There you go. Actually, that was Dorado not what, got his moment, but that's, look, they don't want to come in. That's not what I picked. Ziggler doesn't want to come in. Yeah, no. They do that a lot with the last person that comes in. I remember Randy Orton did it once. Yeah. And then Sheamus kicked in the fucking. That was great. I love that spot. Come on, help us out. Come on. Oh, I love Ziggler. Yeah. No, we don't want to come out. No. No, we're not coming out. No, you can't evict us. You can't evict us, heavy machinery. Thank you. I don't know why they're even trying 
Open. Now to it. open the... Just kick that flimsy-ass piece of plexiglass in. Have they ever watched a this single is a truly elimination a chamber match before? Oh, that's a great visual. That's a great shot. Otis's face in the cage from the outside. Yeah, we punched you. Yeah. Ziggler's it's fantastic too, taunting. It's too bad so many things are so bad about WWE because their production values are just like... Their cinematography and their camera work and their production is just... They're the pros, man. Incredible. It's like they know what they're doing. Oh! They do. They've done it so much. They've, they've done it so many times over and over. Oh, that's going to go well. Uh-oh. Yeah, get up there, Dolph. That'll be safer for you yes, somehow. Yes, definitely. That's my favorite part about all of this. How you go to the Every time that happens, it's like, oh, yeah, this is definitely the safer option for you is to climb upward. Oh, sh <laughs> Oh, no, I've been distracted. Tucky got him. Oh, where's the shot from the other side? Well, they gotta get it from the other side. What are they doing? They need this. Oh. Oh, he caught him. What the heck? Otis caught Ziggler. Oh. And that's all he did with him? He just threw him against the rope? rope? That, that was, seems. That was boring. That does not seem logical. Way cooler than that. Okay, that's way cooler. Oh. Damn, he. Who had butt first? Tucker just fucking did a somersault plancha at the top of the pot and he overshot oh, it a little bit. Mm -hmm. He flipped too hard. He didn't think he was going to make it. He didn't like swanton it, you know, like the way they usually do. Oh, and Rude and Ziggler working together to take down Otis. So, this is a tag team match where tagging doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. So, no tagging. hypothetically, if you and your team were synced up enough, you guys could both attack somebody and both pin somebody together and get We have to take enough people pin. out first that they won't break it up. That's the thing. Ooh. Yeah, man, I love Otis. He's great. Was that a little, uh, little Macho Man thing there, though? A little finger in the finger in the air. Yeah, it looked like it. Uh oh. Oh, he's about to send him through the through the plexiglass. Oh, rude suplex! Oh no, reverse! No, was that 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 was that glorious DDT. That would be. Very interesting to see if he could do Be that finished. on Otis without breaking his fucking neck. Uh oh, Dolph, you're about to get put through the glass. Oh yeah. Oh, oh no. no! Oh, oh all God. the way out. All the oh, way man. out. He almost burst through a camera guy. I've never seen them do that before. Whoa, that's a new one. That was dope. That was very very dope. I almost Where's like that. My friend? That looks like a botch. I almost like that better than the Oh, but he was ready for it. He knew what was happening. Yeah. Because he turned at the last second. No, for sure that was planned. The fact that he was able to maintain enough momentum after going through the first one to go through the second one. And it didn't come out of its, like, thing. It, like... There's like a just pops. It swung open. Well, he broke through the latch, I guess. Or they loosened the latch. Yeah, it probably yeah. It was probably rigged to do that. Oh yeah. I need you. <laughs> We're a team. I'm just light machinery now. 
See, now everybody's got a golden opportunity. In a Mandy Rose situation? What? Oh, you didn't hear about that with Otis? What happened? They were in this... It was weird. In a romantic triangle? Were you, did, were you with me? Oh, yeah, I don't think you saw the women's Royal Rumble. Where Mandy Rose, like, avoided elimination by, like, standing on him because he, like, rolled out from under the ring. Yeah, it was... Yeah. Ridiculous. She keeps on like falling into his arms and like he was like in love with her or some shit, but she started dating Dolph Ziggler instead. See, they should have a rule that if you leave the chamber, you're eliminated. Oh, heavy, heavy machinery's gone. Gone. They're the second ones eliminated. Second ones eliminated. So now it's just full of veterans. See, you can never predict. I full of never, crafty veterans. I would have never thought that heavy machinery would leave this match second. They ran out of gas. But story, the story base. So emotional over the situation of Dolph Ziggler stealing his girl, Mandy Rose. Couldn't wait to get his hands on Dolph here tonight. Perhaps a bit overzealous. But now the veterans are in control of the ring. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much longer heavy machinery could have like lasted in this match. Just like from a stamina. I don't know what their stamina is like, but. These matches are really long. You know, I haven't seen them do very many. Oh my god, why don't you guys do some fighting instead of goodbying? Yeah. Come on, people. These are These are the parts of WWE that make me crazy. It's like, why are you... Not eliminating more people. If you like enjoy eliminating people so much, you're creating, why aren't you trying to eliminate people? WWE is creating its own loopholes that you could fucking drive a truck through. Oh snap! Oh yeah, my God. that's that's gonna hurt. Oh both. Oh they ah, uh, and they shot it like a duck. Wait a yeah, minute. they like really. They were, oh, Ziggler like rude. Oh. They, were, they were they were scared to do that spot, and with good reason. They could have fucking broken their ribs. But yeah, they really held back on it. Oh, don't show it again. Oh, that oh, does not look good. Yes, I understand Jumanji, the Lex level. Thank you, WWE. Hey, it came out today. Good job. Goodbye. On oh, the crowd's into Thank kicking you. out no, Ziggler and Rude. It worked for them. They're really proud of it. At least that angle doesn't look quite as bad. That's probably why they went from it first. So it covers the... Oh, now we got a face-off coming. And then there were three. So, I think next up is probably going to be... <laughs> Morrison was like... Okay. So, will we have new champs? Old champs. I think a cool move to do here would actually to be eliminate Miz and Morrison next. And then so then yeah, you waited a little bit to to pay off the is there gonna be a new champ? And then you get the showdown between Usos and New Day. That would be easily the best showdown that any combination of these three could have. Like, who's going to care about either of these teams facing off with Miz and Morrison? Well, probably Miz does. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I care. And Maurice, certainly. <laughs> Who has her own show. What? <laughs> On E. Oh. So. Oh, what? Oh, nice. Damn. Nice, I like that. What a reversal by Kofi on the super kick. Yeah, Kofi, eliminate him. Fuck him. Oh, oh no! Nice. Nah, that's two. No, they gotta be the last two. They gotta make them the last two. Oh, look at this! Oh, fuck, this match is fucking filthy. Fuck. I told you. Oh, 
You did, Steven. You did. They had a good thing going. <laughs> but now they're rolling out of the ring again. Kofi coming up to the ropes. Got an Uso by the skull. Oh, punch to the head. Kofi stuttered. And now we're going to take a ride. Oh, superplex. How is it From stacked? the second rope. Is it stacked superplex time? No. Nope. Is it that time? It's been too long. Nope, oh. Not, not yet. Eject. Kofi, what are you going to do? You're well, going to go Kofi's all the way up? up to the top. I'm going up on the pod. You knew this was going to happen at some point. Kofi, come on. Air Kofi. What's Kofi thinking? Air <laughs> what are you fucking thinking? Think? He's not suicidal, guys. Oh. Oh. No. oh. no. See, that's what I said they should do. Two guys can just jump on you and cover yeah. you. This makes sense. It is. It's smart. It's a smart. It's smart. It's really smart. I don't know. I mean, maybe WWE doesn't think that anybody cares about New Day and Usos anymore. But, like, they clearly do based on this crowd. Well, the thing is, the like they would have popped hard. The for new that day last doesn't show. have Xavier Woods, so they're <laughs> the little dancer dude. <laughs> since the new day is missing Xavier Woods, oh, they're yeah, yeah, yeah. you know they're missing their in prime ingredients for success. They they start at like eighty HP. Their minds elsewhere. Another face off. Yeah, no one really cares about it. the crowd's not yeah the because crowd's they wanted the new day. They wanted new day and Usos. Morrison's gonna save this. Come on. Oh yeah. Morrison hasn't even done like barely anything yet. He's got to do something. Nice. Oh, oh, totally off. Yeah. I mean, it's like super hard to get that synced up. So like, they did all right. <laughs> yeah. Keep readjusting. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> Space it out, just right. Oh, they got the knees up. Oh, Miz got the. Oh, that's just the kind of thing WWE would do too. Is have A one counter. member of each team pin the other and just fuck everybody. Just fuck you. I have your money now. That was, that was cool, though, since it was not the finish of the match. It was actually pretty cool. It was oh! Always... Miz is too oh. smart to fall for a double super kick. Oh, skull crushing finale. Is this it? Can the Miz be the one? Oh. No! Straight into the Oh, make four. him tap. That's great. That's good wrestling. That's good wrestling. Keep Jay off of him, John. There you go. There you go. Oh, perfect. That's so smart. So smart. Oh. Oh, damn. Flippy time. And and then you pin him off of that. That's perfect. Oh. And he can just keep holding those ropes. So he doesn't, and, it doesn't oh. matter. Oh. Pin him. Oh, it's too much time. Oh. One, two. Oh. This is really good, actually. This is good. <coughs> oh, super kick. This is excellent. Landing. One, two. Oh. And no, and everyone keeps on kicking out. It's like the Rockettes in this match. This at is the a end. really, really good match. Everyone's on the floor. Damn it, Steven. You're going to make me start wasting eight only, hours a week again on wrestling. <laughs> only the ref is hyped. Whoa, has rekindled your, your spirit? Your wrestle oh. spirit? Oh, man. I was doing so well. I was detoxing so well. <laughs> like, I haven't even been watching AEW and NXT. Like, this is stuff I like, actually. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. oh what the heck? Oh, that's great. 
That is And the Miz excellent. and John Morrison win. That was excellent. And working together to wow. both pin and use the That ropes was like a sunset to suppress the Usos. Slash roll up with the feet on the ropes. The Miz and him are a good that combination. Was I want to see a replay of that. That was beautiful. They're a good combination. They are. Because really they both basically have the same Well, they've gimmick. been together before, right? Oh, they have? I think so. I did not know I that. I think they're a tag team. That's the why they have the same gimmick? Genius. Right. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Why aren't they showing that again? Why are they just showing them writhing on the floor? I want to no, see that. they like those Ooh. Jimmy and Jay falling down that eight was times. Intense. We gotta get John Morrison some new theme music though, because that's that's not. It's very dated. That's like that's like AEW theme music. It's not okay. Finally, okay. Now we're gonna go through all the replays. Of which there were many. Wow. Yeah, that's super dangerous. Yeah. Oh, this is a great angle of that. We got him. They got his whole run from behind. And then this. Oh no, Ziggles! Oh, poor Otis. This was super cool. This fucking figure four with the ropes into sunset foot. Pin del mundo. Pin del mundo. Or whatever it's called now. Ooh, that didn't look as good. <laughs> this unique <laughs> double pinning combination. That didn't look as good with with the uh, with the good camera angle. <laughs> he kind of, I mean, he like it. It, it works. It, it worked in the moment. It worked, but it didn't look as pretty as I originally thought it did. But it looked good, and it was super creative. Their little dancing is fucking amazing. Also, they're such dorks. Beautiful. All right, let's get stuff. Well, we just got Very chambered. We don't know if any of them have the coronavirus. Yeah, right. Or but any of those, any of the people in. Jesus Christ, have you seen this? Like this thing that's happening with Facebook now, where it's like marking like everything as spam. Or like against community standards, it's it's fucking. I don't know if it's a malfunction or you know fascism, but <laughs> probably the latter. Probably, but no, I haven't been on Facebook too much, so I haven't. Yeah, it's interacted weird. with its algorithm. It's happening to everyone I know. It's crazy. What? So I don't know what the fuck is going on. It better be a malfunction, otherwise, like something has gone terribly wrong in our world, and. I mean, something has. So obviously. with that sense of dread, <laughs> kids. You know me. I bring the existential dread. Always and forever. That has been d -Ref. Yes, that's me. World Heavyweight Champion. I am Steven. And remember, kids, when you have two heels who have Hollywood gimmicks, keep them around for the whole match. Don't eliminate them early. <laughs> Make sure that they get their screen time. Yeah, got to. Good job, Vince. Got to do it. And that's a great pod. Wow. I like, that looks like a great toy. They yeah. The WD logo on top of it. If I was like 13, I would fucking like, want that, that shit looks for cool. my birthday. Like the WD should... coming up in two days, by the way. Woo! Woo, happy birthday, Derek. Coronavirus birthday. They should, WD should go adult, and they should turn that entire elimination chamber into... Like a like a giant hookah bong playset, <laughs> right? Oh my god, I would love. And then you could fill each chamber with an elimination chamber gravity weed. bong. There you go. You put different weed in each of the four chambers, <laughs> and then smoke them together. Oh my god, yes! This is gonna be our eighteen and over panel at Florida Supercon. Remember, kids. <laughs> hey, I love it. Hey, Wundercast? Wonder Give yeah. it up for Wundercast, man. What an adorable name.
You're listening to the Voonda Cast. What's up, everybody? This is Jason David Frank, Green Ranger. You're listening to Voonda Cast. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to the Vondacast.